Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls. Welcome to this, another brand new day. Yes, indeed. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I mentioned yesterday how it was rainy, beginning of my vlog. Yesterday, I went walkies last night. Uh, it stopped raining about mm, mid-afternoon, and by the time I went walkies, it was dry. Dry, dry, dry. Not just not raining, the ground was dry, the air was dry, everything was just dry. <coughs> so, yay. And while I cleared some of the smoke out of the air, and it's not as smoky this morning, again, it's still there's smoke and there was smoke last night so there's still smoke the air is getting clearer but there's still smoke yay thumbs up but it's it's better that way and of course plague rat report people you know people are just being plague rats still i mean no matter how much it has been shown that masks work and you really need to wear them uh, people refuse and so we keep getting people sick. Hopefully I can avoid that. Ugh. Especially since it seems like the Kofefe bug seems to be like, oh, the, well, that's redundancy, the Department of Redundancy Department. It seems like the Kofefe bug is like chicken pox slash shingles <clears throat> or the herpes virus in that it stays in you and then flares up at various, various, various points during your life. So surviving it doesn't mean you've necessarily survived it. And of course the spider report downstairs, no spiders that I can see. But up here there's still spiders, there are still a couple of the smaller, you know, longy thin legs and tiny little body spindly spiders here and there in the corners. There are still the two, well there's a third, there are still three garden spiders over against the wall near the window and that's a good thing. I have found in the window the husk of a garden spider. So that was likely like the spider that I accidentally knocked her web apart so she retreated underneath some paper to like contemplate and make a new web and then I think there's something that was already there went, oh really? And then lunch. <sighs> life is life and then the egg sack it had got a little bit fuzzy only a tiny bit and I don't see them hatching anymore and the mother spider that was there uh, she's gone so life is life there's still a few tiny baby spiders here and there and there'll be more next next summer hopefully so thumbs up on that Yay. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, really, really quick, of course, this is joyous. Ruth Bader Ginsburg in the United States has perished. And Mitch McConnell, who blocked a Democratic contender for the Supreme Court seat when it was like Obama by saying, oh, it's so close to the end of a presidential thing. The American people need a voice and so blocked this Merrick Gar Garland person from even getting a vote. Now that Ruth Bader Ginsburg has perished and there's only like 40 some odd days until the election, of course, Mitch McConnell is trying his best to ram a vote in replacement through right now. So thumbs up on that. That's the last thing I'm going to say about that. Because I did want to talk about a couple other things. It's like, I had been doing a Let's Play series for Dead Island on my, my channel here. And the second video of the two-part series got demonetized. And I appealed it and they upheld the demonetization. Which is weird because part one is still monetized. And in my view... I did a lot more fighting, a lot more violence, a lot more gross stuff in part one. Part two was mostly talking to people and getting quests. And they demonetized that part. But the part where I spend most of my time being violent, well, that part's okay. So, I was partially demotivated by that. 
and I wanted to do something because I felt like playing something and doing something. I was demotivated from playing that kind of game, but not demotivated from wanting to make videos. So I was looking for something to play that wouldn't be violent and be demonetized. And so I thought to myself, hey, you know, there's grim fairy tales. And way back when, American McGee of id software in doom fame had done a series of retellings of Grimm's fairy tales from the point of view of Grimm where he's making each of the stories darker and you just do that by running around and everything gets vile and dirty and nasty and gross around you and the the background transforms into just skulls and dead things and people being tormented and it's just it's horrific and I'm laughing through this thing as I'm doing it because, I, I, I mean, at one point there's a gear that goes flying and then it rolls up the hill and then flies back down and then lands on crushes and kills two children. And I'm going, oh, goody. Yeah, this is, this is nonviolent. This is better than Dead Island, isn't it? In my view, <laughs> this grim fairy tale, Puss in Boots, is far more objectionable than Dead Island. But it's monetized, so thumbs up for that. One of the problems with YouTube is even the people that do YouTube, all the tech people, they don't really understand a lot of the things. The problem with machine learning, what we're doing with machine learning, and it is kind of a problem, is because it turns into a black box situation. We can't follow what they are doing, the machines are doing to learn. We can only see the end result. You can tweak an algorithm and then adjust what happens in the results, but what is happening, how they are learning, the tricks they are using to learn, nobody understands. That's black box. Input goes in, output comes out. We don't understand what they're doing to learn it. We know a bit. I mean, one of the things we've tried to do with machine learning to land aircraft is trying to get them to learn how to do aircraft landings. But you have to be careful because one of the things the, they learned is they gave a point score to getting the, pla the plane onto the ground quickly. And so the machine language algorithms learned the best way to do that was just crash the plane fast and hard as you could because it got the plane down on the ground. And so they learned kill everyone to get the plane on the ground. You win. We don't know how they're learning. We only know the output of what they have learned. Oh boy. So yay. But the other thing I wanted to talk about, because I've mentioned this before, I talk about with my Pantheon, my Cosmic Horror Pantheon, and I understand with my Attention Deficit Disorder, uh, the past year that I've been working on all this is something that a normal person could have done in a week. But still, I was thinking on this with, I've mentioned before that, you know, really, if there is, and they hypothesize, the multiple worlds hypothesis. <laughs> I keep wanting to say theory and that's wrong. A hypothesis where each decision can make a new universe or there's just new universes. There are like four different types of multiple universe theory hypotheses out there. Now I've mentioned that if there is multiple universes like that, then we have no free will because then you're just variant X of a person performing variant Y of an action in variant Z of a universe. And that part really makes it existentially awful because then the only difference be in you between universe to universe is just that in a rock on a planet in a different star system in a different galaxy in a different galactic structure on the other side of the universe one of those quarks moved slightly different that is your contribution to your illusion of free will there are an infinite number of you out there where the only difference between you from universe to universe is the different the movement of one quark. So yes, 
if you look at that, there is no free will. Our lives are scripted. Nothing we do, it makes a difference and a choice. But everything is perspective. Everything is perspective. From the perspective of somebody outside our universe, of course, they can see the script. They can watch us following the script. They can see it's all just scripted. There is no free will. But everything is relative. Everything is from your own perspective in this case. And from our perspective, yes, we may be following a script, but from our perspective, every decision we make is still on the bleeding edge of now. We may be following a script, but we can't see that script. We don't know what's coming up. So when we throw those dice, yeah, we may be following a script with zero chance of any variation or actual free will. But from our perspectives, those dice are in the air. Who knows what they're going to come up with when they land? Every decision we make is still on the bleeding edge of now. It doesn't matter what the script says. From our perspective, we can't even see the next line that's coming up on the script. So yeah, you're just variant X of a person doing variant Y of an action and variant Z of a universe. On the bleeding edge of now, where everything is in the air. So thumbs up for that. No need for despair. And what a difference. <laughs> what a difference in perspective. When I first thought of this whole multiverse stuff, my, well, I mean, when I, you know, my variations and thoughts on it, not when I invented it, because it's been around since forever, the concept. But when I first started thinking of it, it brought existential despair. Because, yeah, there is nothing but, there is no free will. And now I'm of the idea that it doesn't matter. We can't read the script. And what a change. Thumbs up for that. It's almost like I'm recovering from things. <laughs> and thank you for coming along with me on this journey of exploration. It is greatly appreciated. Definitely a thumbs up. What else do I have for the very short amount of time I have left? Ah, yes. A couple days ago, my computer locked up and I had to turn it off. In fact, it might even have been yesterday. That happens like once a year of late. And so when that happened last night, I w well, yesterday morning, I wasn't altogether that thrilled about it. So this morning, I come in, turn my computer on, it boots up just fine, I load up my browsers, I'm looking through stuff, and then meh. So I have to unplug my keyboard to make sure I don't fry it and reset the computer. So it reset, got to the welcome screen, and meh, this time it blew screen of death on me. I was like, oh goody. When it's running, it appears to be okay. It's been running since. It's not having any issues. But, oh joy. And I don't have any money. I mean, if this thing breaks, I don't have any money to repair it. I mean, I don't... I had $60 to last until this upcoming payday and I forgot to cancel my car insurance. So now I have $15 to last until payday and I don't have cat food and I don't have enough food. I can't afford to fix my computer if it breaks. I can't afford to upgrade my computer. <sighs> Yay! Thumbs up for that. It's a joy. So yeah, I'm going to be I'm going to be kind of hungry. I can afford to eat like a can of corn as a meal for the day. And hopefully I've got enough food to last for the next two weeks. I honestly don't know. I honestly do not know. So it's going to be fun. Yay. <laughs> 
And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. And even though I count an American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, and more, I'm sometimes lucky I can remember what my own name is. And I am not reading the comments right now. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Good, bad, different comment. You took the time. You expended the calories. Thank you very much. So let me call it my chrome. We have Chivy Bear, thumbs up and thank you. There is C's Boring Sh, and then a T after that. <laughs> Actually, there's a space, so it's not pronounced that way. It's, you know, there's a space in there. It's not spelled. Mickey Moore, I'm not sure, but thank you very, very much. And then we have Crystal, greatly appreciated. I'm Suix Eyed Zero One, thumbs up. Ice Damon, greatly appreciated. Elder Wolf 569, thumbs up and thank you. It just works with a picture of Todd Howard, thumbs up. UU79, thumbs up and thank you. 629 Shashi, thank, thank you. Tommy Copeland, greatly appreciated. Rick Jane, thumbs up. We have The Missing Rainbow, greatly appreciated. A W3 P O N S, you know, kind of like weapons, except, you know, with a digit and stuff. So, Russian timing, good to see you in the comments. AJ Falls, thumbs up and thank you. Colin Reisenauer, greatly appreciated. Post Lamort, thumbs up and thank you. Chelsea Boy, I sure hope I came up close on that one again. Thumbs up and thank you. Chi Chi, greatly appreciated. Kai Van D. Dronker Derby New, <laughs> I hope I'm close. Thumbs up and thank you. Angie Boo, greatly appreciated. We have Sebastian Ferris, thumbs up and thank you. Saw underscore Dust, thumbs up. And last but not least, we have Axes Meower. I hope I pronounced that properly. You all get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people, and it is appreciated. When you're depressed and more, you need to get extra voices into your echo chamber of your skull. Thumbs up and thank you all. And if you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign, which I still have to remake bloody ADD, or donate to my GoFundMe or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people. That would be beautiful and awesome. If you'd like to help me out without sending money to one of those two places, I have a PayPal link down below. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money, I have an Amazon wish list link down below with things like cat food, hamster food, and hamster bedding. I don't have any money for the next two weeks, and I don't have any cat food. If you could help me out by checking that out on my Amazon wish list, that would be very, very awesome. And thank you. Now, do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate, or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest, so thank you very much. If you can toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence, a definite thumbs up, and of course, hopefully I put a please subscribe to the channel thing at the front of the, the video. Here's hoping. <laughs> well, good golly, Miss Molly, I've got this video that you've been watching. I have another half of a video to finish editing, rendering, and then uploading. So there will be that. I've got things that I want to do. I need to set up my capture card so, so I can get some Ghost of Tsushima gameplay. Because I can't, I'm not sure if the PS4, when you hit the share button, if it actually records cutscenes. And so I want to get the cutscenes, which means I need the capture card set up. So thumbs up, we'll get that done too. Anyway, though, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very, very good thing. Of course, please wear a mask. They work. I understand the anxiety. I understand they're uncomfortable. I worked in healthcare for 15 years. They work. They're a good idea. Practice your social, social distancing. It's no fun, but it is important and it too works. Practice self-care. These are hard times right now, very bad, especially here in the U.S. So do the best you can. Hang on. And of course, Black Lives Matter and justice for everybody that the jack-booted, brown-shirted, fascist thugs keep brutalizing and murdering.
it's awful. 